Hello everybody, it's Daya here. I am so excited. I hope you guys are enjoying my show so far. And I just, I had an instant idea that popped in my head real quick and I wanted to share it with all of you guys. So pretty much, real quick, I'm a 28 black mom of three kids. And you know, I'm growing, as I'm growing, I'm becoming more aware of my finances and saving money and just being smarter, uh, making smarter choices about where my money goes and, you know, making sacrifices and stuff like that. So that being said, I'm new to investing in stocks and buying shares. And, and uh, so I was kind of skeptical at first about it, but I was able to have a friend pull me to the side and deeper explain things to me. So that can, you know, just let go of fear because we think money, we, when we think of money, we're afraid of, you know, that it's going to go towards something bad or that it's a scam or something like that, right? So, but, you know, they were able to break it down to me. They referred me to Robinhood, a really awesome app. And, you know, they were able to get a share from referring me, but... I was able to get a share as well, so I saved money, and I got Ford as uh, one to be one of my things that I follow. So, you know, it was just really awesome, and I have a link, too, that I will be showing you guys at the end of the video that you can use um, from mine. You can use my link and get a free share, and so will I. So, uh, anyway, so since I'm still learning, <laughs> I'd like to turn the camera on Zach, who, although is not a financial consultant, knows much, so much more than I do. Without further ado, here he is. I cannot wait to grow along with all of you guys and see your success stories and hear how Robin Hood is working for you and maybe how it isn't working for you or if you need any help or any tips, anything like that, we'll have videos that, more videos that you'll be able to get your resources from. All right, guys, enjoy. Here it goes. Okay, so we're going to talk about Robin Hood today uh, and essentially your financial future may not lie with Robin Hood, maybe another financial institute, but right now if you haven't started and you don't know where to start, this might be a good place for you to find that information out. Uh, I started off learning how everything by myself, uh, taught everything as far as graphs, how to, how to read the ups and downs and stuff like that, and not all of it I understand still. And I'm still learning, uh, but what I can tell you is what has helped me it is just getting into it. Uh, n nobody around me knew anything about it or was in it themselves, so therefore I had no information. I had to find out all of it by myself. With this video, I want to give you a small idea as to how you can get started and what it's going to be about. Um, we're not going to get in too depth as far as how trading works or any trading strategy. Uh, as I just said, I am learning myself. However, I can give you an idea and a place to start. Um, I'm going to be showing you a video of some accounts. So right now is a good time to invest because a lot of the stock market is actually down. Even in our tech market right now, where Apple just went through a top, uh, stock split, it's actually a really good price right now. Because a lot of people saw it clear up at 400, 500, and thought, oh wow, it's up there. Then they came out with the stock split, which split it, which we'll discover that, in, we'll cover that in a different video. But once that happened, the price dropped to be available to be available to us because more of it. Since there's more of it, uh, we can pick up more at a cheaper price. I picked up a few of myself and it's a good idea as well as some other stocks simply because with the market down, this is a good time to invest because when it goes up, you're able to sell and then you're, you already know where the low point is. So once you sell, you wait for it to drop back down to where that low point is. Then you buy again. We'll discover that at 
in another video. Right now, as far as the age group that should invest, uh, you're looking at people who just turned 18. Like right now, back in the day, uh, you could jump in the army and have this good investment. You could do this, you could do that. And it's a great investment. But right now, look what happened. Everybody was stuck at home. They had nothing to work for. Them. Uh, right now, the market is down. It's time to get in. Uh, if you were to get in, uh, a lot of people ask themselves one question, where can I start? They don't know a lot about it. Maybe they don't talk to anybody or they know anybody who has any kind of knowledge about the stock market. Maybe they don't even have an internet in that town and just they just want to find out about it. We've all seen movies where everybody has to be out on the floor and it's busy and everybody's yelling and they got papers just thrown in their hand. That's not the stock market was, you know, a long time ago. Since we've evolved, uh, a lot of platforms have been released to allow us to trade. And some even allow free trading, like Robinhood. We have used them, and we will provide a link at the end of the video. That way you can get a free stock if you choose to use our link. Now, they have a free stock system that if you're just starting off and you join, you don't actually get a free stock. You get a free stock from getting your friend to join. What we're doing is here is we're going to put our link in there. So if you'd like to get a free stock, click on that, sign up, you'll get a free stock, and then you can start off showing your friends how to get a free stock as well. But once you get interested into this and you start looking at the graphs and you start understanding how your financial future could possibly be in the background as well as get your hands every day, make money work for you, look at Bitcoin. You know, a long time ago when I was growing up, I heard that stuff coming out. I didn't think it was going to be anything. Look today, it's that much. If I would have bought in back then, who knows? A lot of people could say that. Let's not do that in the future for anybody who is just turning of age to be able to jump into this stuff. All we know is that the younger kids, you know, they hear this and it's just a bunch of numbers. It's a graph. It's it's money. It's money they may not have. You know, uh, for six months I took, I did it myself as an experiment. I jumped on the Robin Hood and I said, I'm not going to spend any more money on it. You know, I'm just going to jump in there. I'm going to get a free stock. I need somebody. So I got a free stock. Once I got in there, I took that money, that free stock that I got, I sold that stock. And then I bought and I sold and I bought and I sold and I bought and I sold until I made enough money to make bigger purchases of smaller stocks and make bigger gains. You'll figure that out as we go along. It's important to invest now because our ability to access the stock market when we were younger, we didn't have the ability to just reach out and grab it in our hands and be able to say, uh, I want to buy this stock, or be able to do the research. You know, you can copy and paste on one screen, you know, the name of a company so you can Google it and find out in a few seconds whether or not that might be something you want to invest in. But the problem we have now is that if you don't know about it, and one of your friends doesn't know about it, you're not going to get into it. So right now, if you if you jump into the stock market, which we're providing a link at the end of the video, you'd be able to see how easy it is to buy and sell. Now, with the free stock that I got from Robinhood, I was able to buy and sell money. And I made enough money. I'd like to cover that in other videos, but right now is a good time because the stock market is so low. Once it starts to go back up, you're going to want to be there. And you're not going to want to be one of those people who says, Oh, I wish I would have done that back then. Or, I, you know, I never accepted my friend invite to one of these because I didn't know anything about it. And it turned out to be an expensive mistake, you know, because one of these companies was too good. Now, uh, one of the companies I wish I would have bought was Tesla. Didn't get a share. But I wish I would have. 